Let me show you why Claude Projects and Google Sheets is the perfect combination for your SEO in analyzing your SEO, giving you perfect content ideas that are bound to work and bring you more traffic and also how to improve your overall SEO. We're gonna use a few tools for this. And by the end of this, you're going to have content ideas that are bound to work because of historical data. The idea here is to analyze the data and the content that has worked for you in the past and give us ideas with Claude or any AI model really to see, to write about ideas that's gonna work for us in the future. We're gonna use a few tools for this. That's Claude Projects. That is a paid feature. Although you can use just the normal conversation for Claude, I just really like the project section. And you're gonna use Google Sheets as well. Finally, we're going to use this free extension, which is Search Analytics for Sheets. I'm gonna leave the link to everything that I talk about below in the video description. So I want you to install this free extension, Search Analytics for Sheets, and then open up a brand new Google Sheet. You're going to have to have your Google Search Console already installed and have some historical data, some historical traffic to it. What we're gonna do is go to the extensions part here and go into the Search Analytics for Sheets section and open the sidebar. Once we have the sidebar open, you're going to select the website that you want to analyze and we're just going to do about a year's worth of traffic, so a six month worth of traffic. So from the beginning of Jan to today, the search type we're going to use is default, the web. Now this is really important. The group by, you're going to go date, page, query, the rows, we don't want to return 25,000 rows. I mean, we can do, but that's gonna to be too big for Claude to analyze. So we're gonna use it as, we're gonna leave it as a thousand. And we're going to put that result in the sheet that we're currently on. We're going to request the data. Oh, actually, where the group by is just gonna be the date, the page and the queries. And let's see if that works now. Uh, request the data. Perfect, that seems to be working now. And in a second, we'll get all of the data over here. As I said that, it's coming in, so perfect. We have the date, we have the page, we have the query that's resulting in the clicks and impression for that page, the click-through rate and the position that that query is at currently for that specific page. Perfect. The only issue is that when we look at the data at the moment, it's we have the same keyword, but it's different clicks. So I want all that data together, bundled together. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm gonna give you a little gift and it's an app script that I've built already. If this is a bit too complex for you, don't worry, you literally don't need to do anything. You're gonna copy this app script and this is gonna automatically just combine all of the data together appropriately. For example, I want all the data of the TS971 manual together instead of separate so I can make an appropriate decision. What you're gonna do is go to extensions and go to app script. It's gonna open Google app script, which is an actual game changer. I don't know how to code a single lick of code, but I made Claude do this for me. And now you can have it below. You can, you, it'll be in the resources detailed below. You're gonna copy it as it is, and we're going to save it. After you save it, you're going to run it. Now, I have already run this, so I don't need to accept it again, but you will have to approve the authorization of this app script. Don't worry, I don't get access to any of your details or anything. You just have to approve it. Same thing here, authorization, authorization required. I'm glad I had to do this so I can show you all the steps that you need to do. You just need to approve the authorization of this custom app script in there. Allow, execution started and completed. So now, if we go back, now you see that I've got the TS97 manual and the total clicks is 308, so it's aggregated all that together, giving me the total of in impressions and the click through rate. So my data is a lot better, I find anyway. If for some reason, if for some reason the app script doesn't work, there's something wrong with it, I recommend you to go to uh, Claude put in the app script and then put in a screenshot of the current sheet that you're working with and tell it, hey, can you recreate this app script but for this Google Sheet and it should work again. It's about making your this custom to you. So I've got a couple of things now that are really, really useful. I've got the queries, the total clicks, the impressions, the average click-through rate and the average position. I'm going to download this spreadsheet as a CSV file. Going into CSV. So now I've got that data here. Now I need to prepare the my project for Claude. You don't have to use a project by the way, but I will. I've got one prepared here for 
where that's that same client within the project section, I've put in all the information that I need to know about the client, including the a competitor analysis, a keyword research report, and an introduction about the business. You don't have to do all that, right? But you do need to put some information about the business within the project knowledge so that it has some background. You can do the same thing with ChatGPT, just add everything in the one go. I just really like how the project sections work. So this project that I've set up for this client within my Claude projects already has a background of the information that I need it. So what I can do is drop in the Google Sheet CSV that I've just prepared and ask it to act like an SEO professional to let me know what has worked in the past and then to give me some blog ideas as a result. So here I've told it to act like an SEO professional and analyze the Google Search Console data, tell me some interesting insights from the content and give me some content ideas that will work given the traffic data that I have provided. Yes, I've misspelled a lot of these things, but that's okay, it'll understand me. I'll give it a second. Now it's given me some insights here, which I know, but it's also really, really good to understand the issue is that I can't read so much data and I can't analyze so much data at once. It might take me, I don't know, a couple of days to do this already. And it's already provided some content ideas, but I want some actual blogs. Perfect, now I have some blog ideas that are based on historical data then I know that this is probably going to work for me because it's founded on keywords, clicks, and click-through rate data that Claude has that I can now write content about, which is nice and easy. I can put these in a Google Sheet, for example. In the same one, I'm just gonna add another one and paste them here. And I've got the fundamental blog that I can write about. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I write that content now? And I don't wanna manually write it, I wanna use AI, no problems. That's for another video, but we have an AI ranking community where we teach you how to do that with ChatGPT and other tools, but you can go to the classroom section and you can go to the AI powered SEO Kickstarter and there is a whole high end tutorial called the Generating High Content with ChatGPT. You can follow the instructions on that and that'll get you going. You'll be able to write a blog within about five minutes that is high quality. Make sure you give it the information of this blog title and you should have really high ranking content. You've already got 15 blogs here, enough for 15 days, so depending on how much content you're writing, that'll help you rank given the historical data it should work. We do this all the time and then find it very, very helpful. Particularly if you have some historical data, use it and use the tools that are available to you. If you really like this sort of stuff and want to get serious about ranking and how to maximize your SEO with search engine optimization, we have the free AI ranking community. We're updating that as we're updating that regularly. We also have the premium community, just the AI ranking hub. That's a lot of fun. Um, that is where you have the AI powered SEO masterclass. That is everything you need to know about AI powered SEO, uh, as well as automations and just how to absolute kill it at SEO with all the tools that are available to you. That's it. If you want to see anything else related to this, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if you really like this video, but don't want to join any of those communities, that's quite all right. Just give me a subscribe and a like. Cheers.